Okay, in this video I will be showing you how to do some programming on your Bob Long Vices board. Now to enter programming mode, you're going to want to hold down the trigger, turn it on, it flashes all the different colors that the LED has, and it should be on green. Now, I recommend getting a Tadao Ryujin board manual online. It's about three pages in length. And it tells you all the different things to change. Now, if you don't want to get one of these, I'll, sh I'll show you some stuff that you can change pretty simply. White is the mode, so... Hold on one sec. I just knocked it off that. Okay. To switch um, colors, obviously, you just click the trigger once. This is the mode that you use to change um, your firing mode, I believe. Yeah. And right now I have it set on semi-auto adjustable rate of fire. So to change that, you hold down the trigger and it flashes twice. Or actually, no, I have it set in PSP right now. And you switch it by just clicking it the number of times for what your board says for the mode you want. I just changed it to semi-auto adjustable rate of fire. It was on six flashes, which means PSP ramping. And that's adjustable rate of fire, too. Um, you can change... I'll tell you which what each thing is here a sec once I go back to the beginning okay so green is debounce purple is dwell yellow is loader delay blue is AMB which is anti-mechanical bounce red is ABS dwell White is fire mode. Teal is your max rate of fire. Flickering green is eye mode. There's multiple eye modes to change. Like you can see how fast your fingers can pull the trigger basically. But it's not very accurate because it just measures about like the fastest two or three pulls. And flash, uh, flickering purple is CPF. Cycle, cycle percentage filter. Flickering yellow is ramp start, which is like after how many pulls of the trigger, your um, marker will start to ramp when in ramping mode. Flickering blue is gangster mode, which means it starts on full auto. This is illegal in any tournament, quite obviously, but it's basically for breakouts. You use it to shoot full auto at first and then once you let go it goes into whatever mode you have the marker set for. Now flickering red is bolt delay and flickering white is training mode dwell. Now the modes this marker has, I'll go through them. It has semi-auto, this is in order of 1 through 12. There's 12 different times you pull the trigger. It has semi-auto unlimited, semi-automatic adjustable rate of fire, PSP auto response, PSP 50% ramping, PSP 100% ramping, PSP burst, NXL full auto, auto response, 50% ramping, 100% ramping, which it says in parentheses is millennium ramping, three round burst, and full auto. So it has some pretty strange modes like 50% ramping and things like that. If you want to know what the balls per second for the PSP is and NPPL and all that, all the tournament series, it's 12.5, which is 6 pulls of the trigger when you have it in the teal color. So that's what I have mine set to right now. And 
yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about programming it. The LEDs are pretty easy to use. When you turn it on, it tells you how good your battery is. I like that, that it shows you how new or run down your battery is. Mine's at green right now, which means 90% or above power. And when you have it turned on, it'll just flash blue. And then when there's a ball in the breech, I'll just push my bolt forward to cover the eyes. It turns purple, and then you'll pull the trigger, and it'll turn yellow like that. And if you just want to try stuff out and turn the eyes off, you just turn it on, hold down the button for about a second or so, I'd say, and it should start flashing red. And there we go, it's flashing red. And now the eyes are off and you can just... So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this video has been for Big X on TechPeed.